Hello everyone, it is Infinity here. Welcome to the podcast. Full moon today. It is 9.11 in the p.m. on... You guys, it is already May 7th. What the heck is happening? It's the full moon. <laughs> uh, and energies have been pretty tense, I guess you could say. Uh, we're just a couple days into the Stargate, and for those of you who are not familiar with what a Stargate is, we have them every single month. They start on the first day of, of the year, so it'd be 1-1 to 1-10, so they're 10 days long, and that's the official stargate so in february it'd be 2 2 to 2 12 and then march 3 3 3 to 3 13 you go all the way throughout the whole year so this month 5 5 is our stargate 5 5 2020 and it is known as uh the the mirrored stargate because we have that five five and that two two so fives and twos mirror each other uh so if you start seeing combinations of of fives and twos and they can mirror each other right side up or upside down they can really look mirrored depending on how the the numbers are what the font looks like or whatever digitally but I think you know what I'm talking about we also got the mirror uh oracle card and I don't think I I got into that it came into my awareness and as I was listening back to the podcast today it did not come up but that is definitely a thing I wrote about that on my Instagram post and I really need to get better at transferring um, or, or copying what I do on Instagram onto my website, but it is on my Instagram and something in the last couple of days I talked about our Stargate and how we have this mirrored number and, um, and that's really kind of what's going on. We're, we're opening up the portal of, and thinning the veil and this this full moon coming in just a couple days in like really into our second full day of of the stargate past the land or the takeoff day so we have a takeoff day which would be the first day of the stargate the landing day is the last day of the stargate and we also have phases of the month so we have these like three different phases the first 10 days the second 10 days and the third 10 days and yeah, depending on the month, it, it it creeps into the next month. But it's really interesting to take a look at how the months unfold, what the energies are doing, how they coincide with full moons and new moons, and as well as other astrological events like uh, eclipses and, and other earthly events and, and cosmic events, uh, asteroids passing and meteors and all that sort of stuff uh the equinox the solstice these things are all part of the the system that that comprises the how the different energies go and then as we move through the year uh, of course we have the seasons we have the zodiac we and, and and that definitely is integrated into that and how things are affected depending on where we're at with the astrological signs and the times of the year and when it comes to the moon things move much quicker so FYI, we're at 99.2% full moon. Full moon was uh, early this morning. We had the moon set at 616 
a.m. moonrise at 8.16 p.m. It is 9.16 right now, so the moon has is just getting going up into the sky, um, at least here in the Pacific. And what else is sticking out here? Uh, so again, with the five and the two, sunrise at 5.52 a.m., um, so just keep your head up in regards to the fives and the twos, because that's definitely, uh, a mirrored number. And it has more to do with the changing over from asleep to awake and the process of, of having that really, truly beginning is is happening right now for a lot of people they there's a lot of understanding and complacency and and looking at the bright side of things for people for some people a lot of people have been dealing with a lot of drama and chaos and and upheaval in their lives and frustration and and just the worst times of their lives right now this is bringing up a lot of things too but for some people it was like okay you know we can just follow the rules and stay home and da, da 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 and then as time has gone on and we're in well into the second month which if you think about it is really not that long but for human beings that are used to a certain way of doing things and having life and plus there's the financial aspect there's the uh, health aspect there's the community aspect the social aspect uh, the purposeful aspect, the aspect of taking care of your family, what's going on in stresses with the children, if you have them and, um, there could, there's just so much going on and it really doesn't matter where you are on the level or spectrum from poor to rich, any place you are on the board, you're going to be a hit and affected by what is going on in our reality right now. And uh, it's it's all relative to your journey, your your life. What's what got you exactly where you were when it all is going on, and how that's all relative, and some of it is more than other stuff. But it's it it can you can really kind of dig dig deep in all of that, um, depending on how you're guided. However, the message here truly is about um, understanding that as we as we get closer to another level or layer or through another piece of density that is part of our reality whatever that is for us individually and then us as a collective is another thing but it all really depends on us individually and how we manage our energy individually really takes shape with what happens collectively and I think that that uh, it kind of goes without saying and it's pretty common sense, but it, it truly is. If you think of it kind of like a heat map, you know, the more people that are, that are reacting in a certain way with their energy or, or focusing in, in a certain way. Uh, and there's so many different ways that this can happen, but regardless of, of how separated physically people are, people are more energetically connected now probably than ever before in a really clean and psychic way. So there's been a lot more because there hasn't been so much interference and so much movement, so much distraction. There's been very limited things going on for the collective to focus on and causing in different triggers, causing different reactions and different people having those same experiences. So if you were to look at it like a movie, you'd be like, okay, cut to this, cut to this, cut, you know, cut to people in line for food, cut to people in the hospital, cut to people, uh, you know, just 
moving through the city going to the grocery store and what that might look like and cut to people dri driving on the highway and you know going from point a to point b maybe moving things and being in shipping cut to i mean there's so many different things and but you can really kind of narrow it down to these different things that we get that that are going on and not only in in the united states or any other country it's just kind of across the board now of course there's different countries and different places that experiences are gonna you know be different depending on what's specific ha specifically happening there like what would be happening in china versus the united states is very different because they're completely different governments and they're run completely differently and there's a lot more control in china over what people do than in the united states and but china is also in the minority compared to how it is in in the rest of the world so would it be similar what's going on in australia to the united states more so than china obviously so so but you can kind of take yourself into these different places and perspectives and, and kind of chop it up into different into different things and and look at it like there's a collective experience about this happening and there's a collective experience about this happening but it all follows falls under the umbrella of the pandemic because it's a global pandemic and like I said it doesn't really matter where you're at on the on the board you're going to be affected in some way uh there's you know probably a super super minority that is n unaffected completely in this situation i cannot think of that many people that are just completely unaffected now of course there are gonna be, be some people that are completely unaffected um i guess in their own physical world but because the collective is going through a a, a this collective experience this general experience in different ways uh it, it eventually will hit those people who would seemingly not be affected at all even though that's a very small population it's impossible for it not to on some level in some way eventually the energy will have gotten there <laughs> so we can look at it that way um so I guess the the bigger theme and, and picture here would be to look at energy and what why this is not just for the number of the mirror and for the oracle that I pulled a, a couple days ago right before the Stargate, but if you haven't listened to that podcast, please do. I'm not going to repeat things here that we talked about there so um so please listen to that it's important it's relative to better understanding and kind of letting go and getting through maybe some layers of resistance when it comes to higher awareness and maybe getting downloaded or or being led in different directions about possibly being reincarnated and having different lives and maybe tapping maybe you're naturally tapping in to the akashic records or getting a lot of thematic stuff coming up about that this thing right now included um or thinking about your soul story or your past lives or your co-current lives if you're aware of that sort of thing uh being pulled in different directions being upgraded and downloaded and activated in different ways physically emotionally spiritually energetically there's a lot going on <laughs> there's just so it's just plus especially during a stargate another thing to mention is time for the most part feels very sped up and that's because we're truly moving faster uh, Gaia is moving faster. Time itself is not, uh, for, for the most part, unless you take yourself and slow time down for yourself and get into a creational state, even though 
that can tend to go by pretty fast at, at the same time. Like, wow, that time just all flew by when I was playing with, with my instrument or writing or drawing or painting or, or whatever it is that, that you do on a creational level, cooking, um, it could even be cleaning can even be seen as creational because you're creating a new level of energy and and atmosphere and and even pressure and density within the space energetically um and so you're creating you're you really truly are doing alchemy even though it won't look like that but that's why a nice clean place a nice clean environment and I'm not talking about messy because I tend to be kind of messy with just things here and there just because I always have so much going on it's like you know but clean is another story like <laughs> I don't like dirty cluttered and having like all my books out because I'm into my different books right now and my cards and my kalimba and you know that sort of stuff but there isn't a bunch of you know dirtiness um in with the clutter so it's not really counting that stuff it's more like you know dirty so it so if you're if you're somebody who likes to clean and I would certainly suggest that at this time the more uh of this stagnant energy like the energetic and physical <clears throat> dust bunnies that accumulate around definitely is heavy in density and so you want that to not be in your environment as much as possible so I encourage people to actually pretty frequently move and cycle through their stuff just move your belongings around just rearrange I, I talked about that in in my Instagram recently too excuse me hold on one second <clears throat> uh, that's better oh water does body good um <laughs> so I talked about it would be a really good idea to rearrange, to just move around your knickknacks, look at them, decide, you know, what you don't need, give it away or sell it depending on what it is. If you're not or no longer connected to what you have around you, make room for the new uh, by getting rid of the old that you're no longer into. It's really simple works really really well so especially for those of you who who are still stuck at home you don't have a busy thing going on with children or even if you do take time to just look around your home and this will make things so much better trust me just look around your home and 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 just be like do I need that there can I move that um just start by kind of cleaning one section one area at a time dusting, um, washing stuff, you know, your knickknacks need to be cleaned and dusted and washed. So do all that. And then, you know, don't put things back exactly how they were. So mix things up from this place to this place. You know, maybe these things are down in your living room and that stuff is up in your bedroom. Well, maybe mix it up a little bit, you know, get, move stuff around. Um, you'll see how how much more you'll pay attention to the stuff around you and you'll realize why they're there or maybe they shouldn't be there at all um and and it'll start to help with the flow of energy of you creating a new place for you to be in your life because it's all about evolution and it's all this whole thing is about awakening the mirror is about understanding that there are more to, there's more lives to you than this one that you're living and opening up to the hidden worlds of your different lives and not to be scared that 
kind of cracking yourself open to, to all of that awareness, whatever that's meant. Cause those are, those are big. It's like, it's like you look at this one lifetime, you're like, Oh, well, I wouldn't be me if it wasn't for all this stuff that happened in my life. I think a lot of people understand that, you know, and, and for the most part are grateful for that. I'm not saying that that's <laughs> the that there aren't people who aren't like that but for the most part I think people definitely just go yeah you know if these all things if all this didn't happen I wouldn't be who I am so you know it's just kind of hard to split these things apart well it's kind of it's exactly the same way for your whole soul story you wouldn't have this existence right now period if it wasn't for your soul story and 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 the mission that you're on and submissions that you're on and the whole reason why you're here um and that's just that's just a fact you know it's just the way that that it is and the more that we open up and recognize that it's not just oh we just go through whenever we decide to reincarnate for our own soul growth and it has no bigger meaning well it does on different levels and it's better to really like decide to accept that sooner or later and realize that you're not going to split apart you're not going to fragment it's not going to be too overwhelming for you to just open up to knowing yeah i've lived many different life times and in many different places and again please listen to that podcast because that goes into it and um and the more that you do that the more that you'll get soul connected and you'll be able to to just be guided better and understand your own energy and what is yours and what is other people's and You'll be able to do your mission and slowly integrate more and more with your soul. Be guided by your soul to the people, places, and situations and experiences that are meant for you uh, to assist you on your way to remembrance more and more. To remember who you truly are. That's always been a really big thing um, around here. And, and that's something that, that Archangel Michael is, is really a big proponent of and, and is always, um, bringing that strength to help with the process because it can be daunting and scary and lonely and confusing and frustrating uh (laughs) for sure it's not an easy magical ride all of the time I mean it is it's always magical it's not always easy and I tell people yeah as people say wow it seems like you're so tapped into magic or the magical side of life and and I wish I could be on that, in that, <clears throat> in that lane more or whatever. And I'm like, yeah, yeah, no, it's great. It is great for sure. But it's not all roses and rainbows and cute little fairies. It's, and you know, it's just, there's, there's a lot of shades to magic just like there's a lot of shades to life there's a lot of shades to alchemy there's a lot of shades to our decisions to our energy to our health to our to our disease to our there's a lot of different levels and layers and and slices of all of that stuff and um same thing with magic and the and the magical side of life there's magic there's a lot of magic in life that people don't see as magic but when you weave them all together it's definitely magic and um the more that you go through the process of awakening recognition remembrance integration activation uh, healings and clearings and, and months and stargates and full moons and new moons and, 
and connections with people and experiences and see how insane our reality is right now and why it's like this and what's coming up and and there's been a lot of talk with people like yeah you know this is really a time where people are going huh I'm being really forced to look at my life and how I spend it and it's and 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 there's just like there's more divorces going on right now than ever because people are really forced to deal with um, their situation in a way that they can't escape you know 12 to 16 hours a day and barely you know tap into it all and just kind of float through and just convince themselves you know whatever or or decide that at a later date they'll deal with it it's like no you're dealing with it now and um this is this not just with relationships with jobs with maybe where you live with your roommates with what you do for a living with how you do it with the way that you thought about life with you know what you thought our life was and and we we've seen um just how fragile the systems are and we're going to continue to see more of that and there's going to be much more to come to light about um a, a lot of things in in the coming days and weeks and months and we really need to uh navigate our way through this um stepping on the higher stones of vibration and not in the shit and pitfalls that can really swallow us up this is a time of of great testing of our will of our decision making of our vibration how we manage our vibration and our and our um, our health, our frustration, our anger, the way we deal and 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 mask up or conceal or reveal ourselves to ourselves and to other people, um, what we're in denial of, what we have been, what we need to heal from, what we're avoiding, what we really need to focus on I mean there's just so much of that going on and and the le- the less amount of time that we spend trying to escape that we really lean into it and and try to see things as they're coming and feel into it the the easier it's going to be the more we we take time for ourselves to take care of ourselves and not be pressured so much by things that are out of our control and and time itself don't i've been getting this a lot from the dawn watcher and the dawn watcher sends off bells and alarms when we really need to pay attention to stuff and she's been really working and there's been a lot of us working with her and doing our part in very different ways to make things to make to make more awareness on different levels and to uh and to yeah sound alarms I guess you could say is is another way but but her whole thing is bells will toll and and so there's been um there's been a lot of that going on as far as trying to see a a bit ahead of time of what's going on or what's coming up uh and navigating our way through that um another thing that's coming up a lot would be uh really seeing how other people are handling what's going on what they're doing with themselves what they're what they're doing in regards with you um 
what <clears throat> what they may be putting off on people or expecting from other people or whatever. Just, there's just a lot of, I think, the... negative energy vampire narcissistic very unhealthy um codependent uh in denial type relationship stuff that's that's really coming up now for a lot of people or and that the flip side of that would be also seeing that in themselves and also also seeing where there's probably been people that have been healthier for you in your life that have shown up that you have not given the energy and time to because innately you've known that there's a certain level of responsibility that comes with that and a certain level of changing your own focus and how you do things if you align with somebody like that and you will just avoid it because just you don't want to have that level of responsibility um whether that's a romantic relationship or a friendship uh that definitely that that can happen with people it's like oh that would probably be a good person for you know they're a good influence they have good energy they're healthy they're spiritual they're you know whatever and and for whatever reason you talk yourself out of knowing them better because you would have to actually maybe step up in these you know just you kind of know like I would probably need to level myself up in some way um and maybe that's what I should be doing, but that's actual work. <laughs> Just like ending relationships or moving or getting a new job, you cha- you have to change stuff. It's like, oh, that's stuff I got to do differently now, isn't it? You know, and, and that takes effort because we get, to, we usually get stuck in ruts about stuff. And that's another thing about our situation that we're in now is that we're being forced to shift and change and maneuver in different ways in which we're not doing things the way that we used to. There's a lot of stuff in our reality that isn't the way that it normally is, period. Like I said, and from top to bottom, crisscross and every place on the board, we're and for some more than others in very different ways, but still, you know, um, I mean, in a lot of the, the world, nothing is the way that it was a year ago today. Nothing is the same. And, and that's, paradigm shifting conscious consciousness shifting soul shifting relationship shifting this is this is a a massive major deal happening right now we need to see it for what it is be in the reality of what's happening to the extent that we're being guided to you know <clears throat> But at the same time, have that balance and and take advantage of what's going on right now. And if these relationships are coming to light that are not healthy or you're being, again, pushed to pay attention to relationships that maybe you haven't paid attention to but you probably should, whether it's on a personal level or, or a professional level, Whether, <clears throat> whether it's a, whether it's a, sorry, my cat got my attention, then my bird got my attention, from a, 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 a trainer who's going to, who's going to get you in shape or to a, a healer like myself 
<laughs> or somebody that's going to teach you something, whatever it is that, that needs to be delved into more that you may have been guided to, but you veered in a different direction. You were, you were led in a different direction and now you're circling back going, you know what, maybe I should, I should look into that. Um, then do it. So whatever that, whatever that is. And if there's a lot coming at you and you're beat and you feel like you're being pulled in a lot of different directions with your attention, that's a good thing. Uh, you're, there's just a lot of information coming, you're being downloaded and you just need to organize it. And I can definitely relate to that. I've been dealing with this, this these last couple of days as time is moving fast. We're in the Stargate, uh, and there's so many different things for me personally that my my guides and my awareness is being like the spotlight is being put on, and I'm having to make decisions about what timelines I want to go down, what I'm going to be focusing on, where my energy is going. And there has been a couple of times where I'm just like, all right, I'm just really overwhelmed by all the different things that's going on right now, what I could be, be focusing in on and, and all of that. And so this could be happening for you as well. I, of course, aim to be, you know, a, a steady compass in this and, and a place to help with all this and not a not a place of chaos, but I also am human. I'm going through my own experience and it does affect what I do. I'm not a, a teacher like, like an English teacher, or a math teacher with a, a strict, uh, set of, of teaching curriculum guidelines or whatever. That's not what I, what I am. And I, I go as guided as to what I'm supposed to share, when I'm supposed to share it, what's going on, what I'm supposed to be using to help you all connect and understand what's going on with, with our timelines and our stargates and our, and the messages that I get that I'm supposed to filter down to you, whomever may partake of my information and in the different ways that I put it out. Um, that's my job. I am a messenger. I am the messenger for, uh, the collective, one of the messengers. Um, but, uh, but again, because I am a human in a human body, living a human life, having a human experience, and I'm put here in order to be able to communicate very directly and specifically about the different things that I'm being pointed to, to do. I'm, I'm not, I'm also experiencing my own existence and, and managing that and, and putting that all together for myself. So it's a real time application of and at the same time, because of the nature of the way that I do things now, not a lot of spiritual teachers and, and guides go to these levels with what they, who they are and what they do, but that's the way I'm being guided in different ways to, to, to share and to work what I do. And this is how it's always been since I started doing this and going on this journey. And that's because it's meant to show whoever's paying attention that it's not this glossy put together thing all the time with these perfect videos and I've got this to share and, and to teach and it's, you know, n not an actual something else going on <laughs> oh, my cat is puking that's not distracting well that was a hot mess literally oh look at that exactly 10 p.m 
2200. We're at 3939. Okie dokie. So, yeah. Kitty acted up a couple of places. Could not be ignored. Glad I didn't keep recording there. You did not want to hear that. <laughs> but a couple of cats in. They're eating. I've got my dinner heating up on the stove. Homemade pizza. Veg veggie pizza I made the other day. It's delicious. So I'm heating that up. I don't use a microwave. They are bad for your food and for you and your environment. So stop using your microwave and take more time to cook your meals on the stove. <laughs> okay. I don't exactly remember where I was, of course, and it's not easy to go back and listen to it. Um, maybe I should get a different recorder thing, but whatever. We're just letting it fly here. Um, another thing we wanted to bring up about this point in time right now is... And I'm being told to grab my Archangel Oracle cards. Let me grab these real quick. Uh, is your physical state, how that might be feeling? Um, if you're extra tired, uh, needing to nap during the day if that's not a usual thing for you or if it's becoming a usual thing for you just go with it your body needs it you're working in astral your body's getting downgraded and upgraded or downloaded and upgraded whenever i say downgraded know that i mean downloaded i combine downgraded and uploaded <laughs> into one word into into downloaded downgraded and that's not what i mean uh and I, and I know I do it. So anyway, sleep is a, is definitely a time for when that is taking place and our daytime sleep and our nighttime sleep are two different things and our body is also processing and doing different things depending on whether it's night or day and and everything that happened before it so so don't see that as the same thing well I slept you know seven hours last night why do I need why am I tired and I need sleep right now and push through because you can you're an adult you don't necessarily have to sleep when your body is is sleeping and telling you to sleep you can push through but it's better not to if you don't have to if you can avoid it and just go fuck it I'm gonna take a nap I'm gonna happen to me today I didn't mean to I have no idea how long I slept for I just was on my com on my computer <laughs> on my phone and alrighty guys I am back it is 10 22 in the pacific i uh, had to tend to my meal it is on hold so i could finish up this podcast so uh let's see lastly we're going to get a couple of whoa a couple of cards this almost fell out of my stool a couple of cards from the oracle lighting a couple more candles. I always like to have at least three on when I work with the cards, day or night. And we are going to get into the Archangel Oracle. It's been a little bit since we've worked with these cards. And these are almost the cards that I work with the most. Okay, so welcoming in, of course, all of the archangels, all the angelic realms for all of us to feel into and um, know that, oop, that was quick, 
Let's see, what is that that just popped out? <laughs> nurture with Archangel Gabriel. As you nurture, nurture a child, you nurture your own inner child. Both activities are important for you right now. And again, connecting with your higher self, your soul self. Um, man, I wish I had that on video. It literally just fluttered, fluttered out. Uh, as you nurture a child, you nurture your own inner child. Both activities are important right now. So I've been thinking so much more, uh, about... No kidding. No more of that. No more of that. You've puked enough. Uh, the connection with children, people having connections with children in a different right way now, and possibly coming up with some sort of um, program where people who are at home and have the time to spend 20 or 30 minutes maybe reading a book or uh or singing songs or doing art or dance or yoga or meditation or whatever oh there goes another card Claire audience with Archangel Zadkiel Notice the loving guidance you hear inside your mind or from other people. We can never discount the messages that we get directly from other people. I, anytime I, I, I get a, you should, or it's something's pointed out or I'm praised in some way or acknowledged or validated from other people and I get a special tingle about it or my guide say or hey you hearing they could be very specific like you paying attention to that um that's a direct message from us kind of thing um You know, I, I pay attention to that so much more than I used to because I know how the divine archangels and angelics, our, our, our guides, our guardians, steer us, if we allow them to, steer us towards people, places, situations, and experiences that are meant to give us guidance and wisdom and experience in some way and when we actually get very verbal uh oh here comes another card and when we actually get an audible message those are are like the strongest and we can just pass those off very easily like a friend should be could be like like hey uh um, yeah, okay, so, hey, you're so good at, at doing this craft that you do, whether it's drawing or knitting or, or wire work or whatever, you're just so naturally gifted at that, and, and, you know, you should do classes about that, I bet you people would pay money for you to teach them how to do the different things that you do, and you're like, oh, oh whatever, blah, 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 and then you sit around, and you're like, what could I do with my life? and to make it better and stuff and it's just you did not hear that at all um you know i mean it's very easy to to to, to, to just let things go right over you and even if they are super super divinely guided messages um so it's our responsibility to pay attention okay here comes the next card <laughs> Moon so oh, we have another card coming up. Moon cycles. Uh, <laughs> with Archangel Haniel, it is the full moon. It is exactly 57 minutes into this. Notice how the moon affects your energy and manifestations and capitalize upon these cycles. Yeah, most definitely. 
Um, and at this time, there is so much like where we we are, depending on on what's going on too. We're manifesting really quickly. We're um, we're experiencing the more we the more we pay attention to a thing, how it can turn into another thing and I guess is the best way to put that in a really broad way but that's just you know the law of attention and attraction and and what 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 you focus on is what what you focus your attention on is what is going to obviously uh be energized so so if you're focusing your attention on your your misery, your poverty, your lack, and and how horrible things are, and your anger, it's just going to energize all of those circumstances for you. It's going to make things so much harder. Um, and it's and those are the tests. Those are the triggers. Those are the those are the types of things, especially when we get down into the lower root chakra of survival and, um, literally like seeing the color of blood. Like you think of like your survival, your mortality, especially when there's a lot of people dying and getting sick and, and all this stuff going on. Um, but what we need to, to understand is is that we truly are in control of what we have in our in our world and our universe and our disposition our energy our whatever it whatever in whatever moment our energy is or vibration is is resonating at whether it's high or low is completely in our control it just doesn't always feel that way and we feel a lot of the times a lot more out of control but that's the illusion of this reality and here is another card all is well from Archangel Jeremy L. Everything is happening exactly as it's supposed to with hidden blessings you will soon understand. So there we go. That's another one at 59, 59, 60 minutes in. All is well with Jeremy L. Everything is happening exactly as it's supposed to with hidden blessings you will soon understand you guys what a great message right after moon cycles uh notice how the moon affects your energy and manifestations and capitalize upon these cycles uh and see how it changes see how the energy and and how you are getting through or going through your life and the cycles of your life and 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 just satellite out a bit and just take a look at the world your world around you and what is going on there with the people with yourself with your with your own emotions and and who and what you're being led to and what is being turned off or or no longer a viable timeline and what are timelines that are opening up and how you feel about these different things and are you running on autopilot are you about the things that you normally are used to be into or or what you should or what feels right for you um because these things change our inner our evolution changes the things that we're supposed to be into and feel good and and be passionate about it's just the nature of our of our lives and our evolution especially if we're awoken on any level trying to and have the the foresight of true evolution not just staying healthy and staying vital and staying you know with your brain working and your physicality working but evolving on a spiritual level gaining in in 
in connectedness with your soul, that whole divine connected, divine union thing. This mirrored stargate is about awareness of, or the remembrance of your awareness of the bigger picture that you're a part of the bigger energy that you truly are, the bigger and much longer and substantial and deep the, the story of your of your full soul life and, and, and beingness is is so much greater and grander possibly than than, than you had previously given right to to begin to imagine or fantasize about or bring into your awareness or open up to all of that information. Um, because it is pretty big, but like we talked about with with the the mirror, the more that you lean into and open up to all these different aspects of yourself throughout time, and there being so many upon many upon many of them at this point, uh, is a greater awareness and integration with all of it and the piece the cool part is you can be like oh I've already played these different games so I get to go and open up the boxes because they're already open and pull out the information and the pieces and the and the and the structures and the and the the wisdom and the magic of these different lifetimes and bring them into this one just leveling up my my awareness my connectedness my intelligence my uh my abilities uh when we can tap into and with other lifetimes that we've that we've been in body it's a really cool thing dude like seriously i've been able to do it uh, and and I'm doing it more and more, and and it there's many at this point that I've been able to tap into and get information from, and awareness from, and, and abilities from, and and um, in different ways I can do different things with those with those different uh, soul story timeline, you know, boxes and treasures of tools. At, at the disposal of each of them. So that's that's a whole component of this game that is that is the magic that's really, really fun. Um, and I'm still at the point of integration where they're coming, that's I'm opening up more and more and it's coming in more and more for my awareness. And then as that happens, I'm able to utilize the energy that's coming through those, those different soul aspects of myself and identify what they are, who they are, uh, why, why they're coming through, what I'm getting from them and 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 reignite that cord in this reality consciously in my awareness in my awake state who knows what i'm doing in my astral and that's another reason why i don't remember if you listen to this podcast um because that's just a lot <laughs> <laughs> it's a lot that that I'm aware of that's going on right now that I can tap into as you can see so um like have you ever seen that movie and I, I don't know for some reason it just reminds me of this but not in not in the horror movie kind of way but in this really cool way where uh when I'm one of the last and my favorite uh horror movies is called Cabin in the Woods and it's because there's so much of the of the fairy tale or horror story mysticism um monsters and and 
like from the werewolf to the vampire to the to the lock to like the Loch Ness monster to the Medusa if you have not seen Cabin in the Woods and you can handle it but it's really a funny it's a funny perspective too just because it's taken from like this this uh kind of like governmental behind the scenes seeing people play out what's going on and then being fully aware of it and it's just multi-level layered and it's just done really really well but anyway so if you're if you're into movies and you're in if you if you're into that sort of thing I couldn't I'm not I don't think I could watch that these days it's, it's a bit too gory for me uh for a while now I've had to stay away from a lot of that kind of stuff back in the day I did enjoy that sort of thing but the cool part about that and the visuals that you get are just how there's all of these different um creatures I guess you could say or people slash creatures or gods or monsters and all of you know from one thing to another and they're it's just it they're all in these different uh containers basically and it just goes on and on and there's just le- levels and the way that they move them around and and it's just wild you know you're just like holy shit so the so the perspective is not only are they real but they're contained and they're here and there's some kind of control to it and there's just like all this stuff to it. it's like they're they're in their specific places and you can see them and it was just like what the fuck you know the awareness for the for the people that you're that that you're watching go through this is and you're going through it too because the more is revealed the more is revealed and the more is revealed you're just like oh my god it just gets bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger and yeah I guess you know I'm hearing right now there's definitely metaphors to what's going on now and a lot of a lot of metaphors actually a lot of um similarities and things that are that if you are if you can kind of peel it apart and see it for what it is with especially the different the different showcased fears and monsters that get pulled up to the surface to be seen in this movie I'm being told are is very telling so if you're guided to watch it if you want to if you want to connect some dots go for it it's very similar along the lines of like the likes of um the matrix or inception that I've talked about before or um what's another one um the abyss is another one i another one um um i guess that's all we're getting right now i'm seeing pictures of things but the names are not coming to me um but anyway And the last card that is coming up is Archangel Metatron with Prioritize. This is the card at the very bottom. Oh no, this next one, the next one behind that one as well. Okay, so those two. So prioritize with Archangel Metatron. Focus on your highest priorities. I will help you get organized and motivated. This card comes up a lot to try to get us focused, try to get us to uh, control the waves of time more than the waves of time controlling us. And that happens with prioritization of your time energy and expression so that is something to try to manage and 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 take a hold of and this might be a really good time for that for you um kitty would you please stop enough enough not it's like one cat keeps wanting to eat this grass that i brought in here and 
she's not used to it, so she, she's eating too much and it made her puke. Okay, so... Scheduling... Seeing if you can group up with with a friend or people again that is something that comes up that I I'm I'm uh, thinking about putting together some type of some type of something about about this whole thing uh, but as time has gone on especially this last week it has not even been remotely possible for me to think about it but it is something that at least for your own self privately to consider if you don't already have some type of structured schedule for yourself to make something up in regards to like your passions, interests, hobbies, what you're being guided to pursue spiritually or, um, this literally driving me nuts. I swear. Any of those types of, any of those types of things that you're being guided to, uh, to get into or to pursue to spend time on scheduling definitely helps and being accountable with other people is really important as well that's why it's good to have a group thing okay and then the last card that came out was outdoors with joe fiel go outside get some fresh air and connect with nature to relieve stress and gain new creative ideas and again one of the first messages that i got when i was no nowhere near to being awoken <laughs> years before that happened unfortunately but just tapping into certain aspects of more not just no that's not true because I I'd, I'd, I'd been tapped in since I was a little kid but never had I experienced basically what had happened recently before this was I had I'm not going to tell a story right now maybe this will be my next psychic story um yeah, so so the ability to draw, if you've seen my drawings, not just my, my digital art is one thing, um, but it's not drawn, it's not so much drawn art. My digital art is a different type of, of art. Um, and if you see it, you'll see what I mean. But my drawn art, my pencil art is definitely, I draw that. <laughs> pencil, paper, me. And I, and it's really good, I'm, I'm really good but it that just happened one day and that was one of the very first like or one of yeah one of the really big things that like kind of super shook me on a spiritual or or, or metaphysical <clears throat> level because it was so weird uh, it was so weird, but it was right up there with levitating. So if you've listened to that, or if you haven't listened to that podcast, I, there, um, it's my psychic story. Number one is, um, about levitating, about me levitating. And, uh, but it's definitely up there because I went from not being able to draw to being able to draw. And then as time gone has gone on and I've awoken more and more and what I was talking about, how I could tap into other to other uh lifetimes and other abilities and and really kind of just like let that let the literally the spirit of those incarnations come in and t and the same way that I channel any ascended master or Gaia or archangel 
I can do that for my own past lives as well. And so the whole drawing thing is definitely part of that. So I started to recognize as, because I even went a really long time without drawing at all. Um, I kept thinking about it, but I just could not do that. And that's like when, when I was still very sick with fibromyalgia and I would think about it, but I just had no motivation, no energy to pick up a pencil or draw or, or at all. Um, even though in a far away distant, you know, message from a distant land was, it would make me feel better and, and, and whatever. It was just like, yeah, I, I can't. Um, but anyway, before this, <laughs> when the ability first came to be it was quite sudden and it was after a very specific event and um and then i went this long time without so i did draw for for a couple of years pretty consistently just because it was so new, but it was very difficult for me to finish any, and it's still very difficult for me to finish anything, but for different reasons. Um, yeah, I'm definitely better at finishing my digital work way faster than I am my drawn work for sure, for sure. But for me, it was just like, oh, wow, I can draw that. And like, I'd get to a certain point and be like, okay, it's clear I can draw that. And then I would start a different thing without like, fully finishing and getting into the super detailed stuff, even though now I'm into finishing, but I really, I, there's a certain level of detail. Like I put a lot of detail into my drawings. And so, uh, they're very time consuming <laughs> and I can never work on just one. So I have like multiple going on at the same time. And truth be told, I haven't picked up a pencil and any of my drawings to do anything new or old in probably at least five weeks. It's been a really long time. I've been pulled in, to even though it's it's there and I look at it all the time. I have my drawings on my wall to keep me engaged in it creatively, even if I'm not doing it and that helps. But and it was also supposed to help me like actually do it, but it has been several weeks, um, but I was drawing a lot and then I just kind of shifted energy into doing different things. There's only one of me in this reality and I do a lot of different things. And so, um, <laughs> yeah, so Anyway, I had just learned or tapped into the ability to draw, I guess you could say is the, is the best summation to what has happened with all that. And for a while really was into it and then stopped for a long time, a long, long time, long time, like 10 years almost without drawing anything, which seems crazy, but that truly is pretty much the reality. Um, and then with my whole awakening and getting into healing and I was guided to like draw my, start just drawing again and draw my logo. Um, this was a couple years ago and it turned into this really cool owl that has a lot of other animals that are mixed in with it. So if you haven't seen that, that is on my, uh, the key is to create website and you can take a look at it there. Uh, and then as time went on from that, just in the last couple of years, um, the ability has grown exponentially from the very beginning from when it first like got triggered. And of course this is because I've leaned into it a lot and really put so much effort into, um, understanding how important that is in this lifetime. So like part of what the, in the message of the mirror it talks about once you open up to these other lifetimes and you can tap into these other worlds and these other knowings and other lifetimes, 
other incarnations that you've had, whatever level that that might be, uh, you can use, you can use that here and, and that's, that's truly, that's the truth. It's abs- it's not just a concept. It's not just abstract. Like you'll, you know, maybe gain in wisdom in the abstract or whatever. It's very practical. And, uh, and like I said, it, it's, it's pretty cool. And you know, when you've been able to do that, when you've, um, even, even subconsciously without intention, started doing something and it's come so very natural to you that uh that you know it's just it's like you've always done it and and that's most likely that type of thing um or just the 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 sudden interest in something and then getting into it and then finding that you just it fits like a glove sort of thing you're being guided in these directions for a reason, for a purpose. And, and this is because when you tap into those other lifetimes, it feeds into this, this one. It's just, it's like adding gas to a fire, get it, you know, air, get it, you know, you, you're creating more energy and more strength and, and the abilities get ignited so that it's just like fireworks going off just one sets off another sets off another so we use the energy from our past or co-current lives depending on what's going on we pull that energy into this one if we do that consciously and with intent with purpose and prioritization uh we can definitely level up in these abilities so much more which is what I've been able to do with these different things that I do um so I know it's definitely a thing and this is how I can speak to it because I've been able to do that okay so outdoors with Joe Feel, go outside get some fresh air and connect with nature to relieve stress and gain new creative ideas grounding, putting your feet in, into the earth, getting into natural bodies of water, um, collecting rocks, tending to a garden, uh, creating a garden if you don't have one, if you have a patio space of any sort. Uh, I'm being told to, to look into getting, you know, maybe some a tomato plant and a couple of herb plants and some flowers and you don't have to spend a lot of money but uh budget you know and I know this is not the greatest time for some people financially this might not be the time but you can um maybe you know ask your neighbors who have them or you know see if people have seeds or it doesn't cost a whole lot you can spend five bucks at the 99 cent store and and get some some plants seriously it's a, i mean where there's a will there's a way and if you have space indoors or outdoors please consider bringing more more of nature more plants and herbs and vegetables into your world especially at this time it'd be a great idea to to grow your own food uh all right guys so just recognizing here we got six cards nurture with archangel gabriel as you nurture a child you nurture your own inner child both activities are important for you right now so whether you are around children or not, if you're inspired in any way, uh, just just kind of go with that. It's a very weird time for kids in the world, and they can use more light workers to 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 focus on and to feel their energy. So so think about that. Think about the kids that you do know, the kids you already know that you can connect to in a different way, kind of leveling up what you already do possibly. Um, volunteering is a great idea. 
if you can volunteer your time or uh, even over Zoom to connect with kids in different ways. Like I said, I can, this just keeps coming up. Uh, okay. And again, for yourself, just spend time with your own self, nurturing the inner child, the creative inner child, especially the expressive inner child, whether it's writing or drawing or dancing or or doing music of any sort or anything like that that we're that we're into as children or were into uh think about those things and think about how you can maybe you know put a different spin on it now as an adult and maybe get into that with people that you used to do that with and and spin some ideas around about how you can do it differently now that that I know that's really broad but I think that you can kind of plug that into different things is what I'm being shown and of course moon cycles with Hannah Yell notice how the moon affects your energy and manifestations and capitalize upon these cycles uh color audience with Zachiel notice how the loving guidance you hear inside your mind or from other people. So we talked about what we messages we can get from other people, but also these messages, these sudden ideas hearing, you know, it's like the voices in our head, you know, it's not, I try to explain it. Like it's an idea. It's a, it's a, it's a something from outside of, of me coming in to my awareness, my head. And I'll hear it like my own, like you hear an idea, but it's totally different. It's not like you're hearing a, a, an actual voice. Um, but it, but at the same time, the better you get with it, then yeah, you, you are hearing a definite different, there's different, I can, I can personally at this point, very, get, I'm getting better and better and better at differentiating those things. And then of course they, they come in and they identify themselves too. So there's that, but, um, like I know the difference when some when like Michael chimes in with something versus Jesus versus uh, a friend that crossed over possibly you know like it's just different with different entities and beings and and sometimes I don't know and I'll have to ask who is this because it's not coming to me and they'll have to say their name a few times or show pictures and then the whole thing happens so I can understand who's who this is especially if there's somebody new it could be a past you know like tapping into the awareness of a of my own soul in a past life coming through and and that's its own weird type of thing too so and how that that feels and the recognition there and the integration of all that coming through is it's its own thing so uh just being open to all of this these these different multi-layered ways we can connect with nothingness that in our physical space is is kind of mind-blowing but it's again definitely a thing and very very real and especially at these times with the stargates and and full moons these are always the most energetic always the most sensitive always the most aggressive always the most time sensitive and the most revelations are happening the most wow the most um, explosive news, the biggest shift in consciousness and awareness about people, places, or things, and things happening and going on, uh, revolutions and uprisings and all sorts of stuff, or the ramic or the ramifications of those things happening as well during timeline um, uh, portals and and stargates like we're in right now and especially when we have the the fuel of the full moon's energy to to pull up like a magnet uh 
what is going on. And so to take it from simmer to boiling, if you will, in different ways. But not only like in a negative way, but also in a positive way. So if you've already been feeling into your spirituality, that's going to level up. If you've So anything on the positive is going to be enhanced as well, or your awareness about yourself and, and these types of things unfolding, the, the blocks that may have gotten in the way, the stories that you wrote to yourself that were not true are starting to crumble and you're starting to go, that was bullshit. That was just fear. That was because of that, that, you know, so you're going to be able to just move things and just kind of like a Godzilla just going, oh my God, like just and, and really trample through a lot of stuff. So the more that your awareness is, is open to stuff, the, the bigger, stronger they, that you'll be, of course. All right, guys, it's time for me to dip out. It is 1104 in the Pacific. I'm going to go eat my pizza that's, that's ready for me. Hopefully not too overdone at this point. Uh, it is, where are we? 93 minutes and 33 seconds into this podcast. Thanks for listening. Happy full moon. Happy Stargate, you guys. Uh, I guess I'm leaving you with write stuff down. If you get ideas, if you're inspired, record them, write them down, jot them down. Try to get more organized with everything that's coming. Again, all is well. Outdoors, moon cycles, nurture, clear audience, and prioritize with the archangels. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for being here. Uh... Have a wonderful Friday and start to your weekend. Be positive, master frequency, meditate, self-care, clean your environment, wash yourself up, slather yourself in yummy goodness, whatever that might be, and um, on the inside and out, take naps when you're being led to. Go outside, connect with people who you're being led to and whether they're from your past or your present or you feel you're they're coming into your future now. This is how it's all supposed to roll. Again, all is well and everything is happening exactly as it is supposed to with hidden blessings you will soon understand. Infinite love and blessings. Don't forget the key is to create. I love you already and always live in love. Bye, guys.